A strong couple pairing is the heartbeat of any great movie, but some movie couples are so unbelievably well-matched, we wish they were real. Let's go over the top 10 movie power couples. Starting the list at number 10 is Noah and Ali from The Notebook. Long before he swept us off our feet with La La Land, Ryan Gosling made magic as Noah in The Notebook. He played the hunk of a mysterious handyman who would stop at nothing to rest Allie, played by Rachel McAdams, from the clutches of her mother. Their love was timeless, and those two leads, just impossible not to fall in love with. And oh, that rain kiss. You wrote me? Yes. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Wonderfully enough, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams during the making of The Notebook began dating in real life from 2005 to 2007, Nick Cassavetes, the director of the movie noted. They fell in love and became a wonderful, wonderful fiery couple. I still think they got lots of respect and love for each other, but in the beginning it wasn't like that, Cassavetes, 65, told EW but they're both the greatest actors in the world, and some of the things that I asked them to play were so difficult. And there was nothing they couldn't do. Up next, at number nine is Celine and Jesse from The Before Trilogy. The Before Trilogy consists of three American romance films directed by Richard Linklater and starring Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy. Beginning with Before Sunrise and continuing with two sequels, Before Sunset and before midnight. One chance encounter on a train to Vienna in 1995 throws together two strangers, Celine, a dreamy French romantic, and Jesse, a sharp-witted American cynic played by Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke, respectively. It's obvious to him that time is a lie. Uh, uh, that it's, that it's, it's all happening all the time, and inside every moment is another moment, all. They get along so well that Jesse convinces Celine to hop off the train with him in Vienna, where they spend the whole day and night walking around the city, discussing life and love. Feeling spontaneous after having connected so well, they agree to meet again after six months. Life takes its course. Flash ahead to 2004. Jesse has written a novel about their first encounter. Celine comes to his book signing in Paris. Despite Jesse being married with a young son and Celine dating a war photographer, they can't resist the pull of what might have been and could be still. Next at number eight is Molly and Sam from Ghost. This movie couple is anything but ordinary. In Ghost, Molly Jensen, played by a young Demi Moore, loses her fiance Sam, played by Patrick Swayze. But this is not the end of the love story. After being turned into a ghost, Sam continues to take care of his lover, Molly, and saves her from some dangerous incidents, even from his grave. Unsurprisingly, we get absolutely drawn in like a moth to a flame with both heartbreaking and heartwarming moments in the film and, of course, there's the inimitable turn by Whoopi Goldberg as Oda Mae Brown, who brings just the right mixture of hilarity and heart. This film has given us not just one of the most iconic love stories ever told, but has irrevocably placed pottery as one of the most romantic forms of artistic expression in cinematic history. Up next, at seven, we have Wesley and Buttercup from The Princess Bride. They could very well be the best fairy tale couple of all. Buttercup, played by Robin Wright, is just a poor farm girl to Wesley, the poor farm boy, played by Carrie Elwes, who always manages to answer her with, as you wish, which eventually becomes their way of saying, I love you. Can you move at all? Move? You're alive. If you want, I can fly. Then, when Wesley goes off to seek his fortune at sea, he meets an untimely end at the hands of the dread pirate Roberts. In despair, Buttercup becomes engaged to the conniving Prince Humperdinck. Things take a turn when Buttercup is kidnapped by bandits, but rescued by none other than the dread pirate Roberts, who she soon realizes really is Wesley, quite alive and well. Together, they face down Humperdinck, battle dangerous creatures, and overcome every obstacle in their way. Wesley and Buttercup show us that true love, second chances, and a bit of fairy tale magic can conquer anything. Next at number six is Johnny and Baby from Dirty Dancing. In Dirty Dancing, the sparks fly between the charismatic Johnny, Patrick Swayze, and the sweet, naive Baby, Jennifer Grey, despite their age difference. 
He leads her into dance, breaking her out of her sheltered upbringing in this coming-of-age story. It's the holiday romance we all secretly wished for, set to one of the best soundtracks ever. And those dance moves. Baby may have crawled along the floor carrying a watermelon rather awkwardly, but it was Johnny who nailed the final dance of the season. Kellerman's may seem like any other summer camp, but in our teen hearts, it was a place of magic where dreams do come true and we all really wished we could go. At number five is Monica and Quincy from Love and Basketball. Quincy and Monica hook up first as kids through their common interest in basketball. It's a shared passion that becomes both the glue that holds them together and the force that drives them apart as they grow older. For Quincy, whose father was a professional basketball player, the route to stardom seems pretty well laid. For Monica, with no such chaperonage, the road to the pros runs steep and rocky. It is tough enough for them to negotiate their budding relationship, but Monica's fierce ambition to become a basketball star creates tension in their relationship, especially as family problems begin to overwhelm Quincy. First, Monica chooses her career over love, but then she finds a way to strike a balance between her career and love, and the two find their way back to each other. Quincy and Monica's story is one such tribute to how people could bond together through common interests up and down. Their journey from friends to lovers is nothing short of classic. Down to number four is Jack and Kate from the Titanic. Rose, played by Kate Winslet, and Jack, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, are one of the most memorable movie couples of all time, and their love story just continues to tug at our hearts all these years after the release of Titanic. They get on the ill-famed ship as two passengers from different walks of life, Rose, a first-class socialite unhappily engaged to a rich man, and Jack, a free-spirited artist with nothing but dreams and determination. Jack's adventurous spirit and steely resolve blow a gale of imagination into Rose about life beyond the privileged but smothering confines into which she is now suddenly thrown. When the ship docks, I'm getting off with you. As the ship deepens, Rose plans to abandon her fiancé and start a new life with Jack when they dock. Fate, however, has other ideas, and the tragic end of the Titanic cuts their love story short. As we see in the last moments of the movie, however, Jack's impact on Rose was immense. His impact remained with her throughout her remaining life and formed in a way that went beyond their time together. At number three, we have Harry and Sally from When Harry Met Sally. For real romantics, it's a dream come true to marry their best friend, and that is exactly what Harry, played by Billy Crystal, and Sally, played by Meg Ryan, do in When Harry Met Sally. Written by none other than the inimitable Nora Ephron, the picture takes viewers on a journey through Harry and Sally, finding each other at different junctures until finally reconnecting and becoming close friends. Their chemistry is palpable, but neither man nor woman desires to jeopardize their friendship by pulling something off and particularly not with Harry's rule that no man can be friends with a woman he finds attractive. He always wants to sleep with her. Honey. Why? Most women at one time or another have faked it. Well, they haven't faked it with me. How do you know? Because I know. Their relationship works through constant sightings of other people until finally it occurs to them they're perfect for each other. Harry and Sally are one of the best, most fantastic movie couples there ever was because their relationship perfectly balances romance and friendship. Their love story feels magical and at times so down to earth, and then eventually well grounded in a really strong base of their friendship. It's that rare, timeless love that only comes along once in a blue moon. Down to the top two we have Ennis and Jack from Brokeback Mountain. In Ang Lee's groundbreaking film that catapulted its stars to fame, Ennis, Heath Ledger, and Jack, Jake Gyllenhaal, take us on a deeply emotional journey with their secret, forbidden love affair that spans decades. Set against the breathtaking backdrop of Wyoming's lakes and mountains, these two cowboys escape their ordinary lives and marriages to experience a love that's as powerful as it is heartbreaking. Well, now you're sleeping on your feet like a horse. The story of love found and lives only half-lived, brought to life through two incredible performances, makes Ennis and Jack one of the most unforgettable movie couples of recent times. Their love is both seductive and tragic, leaving no viewer untouched. And finally, at number one is 
Morticia and Gomez Adams from the Adams family. I can't be the only one to look forward to Halloween all year. There's just something about the spooky, gothic vibe that you gotta love. Morticia and Gomez Adams are, hands down, the best TV couple of all time. If you haven't seen the original Adams Family movies, they follow the quirky family through all sorts of amusing situations, like when Uncle Fester goes missing and ends up marrying a gold digger plotting to steal the family fortune. The films are packed with iconic moments, from Debbie's over-the-top antics to Wednesday's epic monologue at the summer camp. But what really stands out in the franchise is the relationship between Gomez and Morticia. They're madly in love, even after years of marriage and raising a family. Their passion never fades, and they're always making grand romantic gestures. Gomez treats Morticia like the queen she is, and that kind of love is truly goals. In a TV world where marriage is often portrayed as dull, Gomez and Morticia are living proof that true love only gets better with time. Honestly, Gomez gives me hope for men, and I think everyone could learn a thing or two from him. And that brings us to the end of our video. So, which of these couples is your favorite? Did we miss a couple? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to show us some love. Thanks for watching.